and welcome to another video from the Car Care Garage. Today I'm going to go through cleaning wheels and uh, my wheel regime. Today I've got in a stunning uh, 2013 Focus ST. It's probably one of the most recognisable Focus STs in the country. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop you down uh, on the floor. Uh, fortunately for you, you won't have to see me for the rest of the video and all you'll do is hear me as I go through what I do uh, when I have a car in for uh, a clean. The old rule of thumb was you, when you're washing your car, you start at the top, you work yourself, you work your way down, which is still true. That's still the right way of doing it. But what I do, I do the wheels first. The wheels can take about five five minutes a wheel. So if you imagine this, you've washed your car, you then go down and do your wheels. The water is drying on the top of the car and on the car while you do the wheels. So I like to do the wheels first, get them clean, then jump back onto the body, and then obviously as the old rule of thumb, start from the top and work your way down. But today, I'm just going to show you about the wheels. So I'll just put you down on the floor. As said, you're now back on the floor. First thing I do is I just get the hose, just knock off any loose dirt, and you can see some of that dirt's already coming off. There's no point trying to wash stuff off that will just rinse off. So that's the hose. And then spray this chemical on, I'll spray the chemical on and you'll see what happens and I'll explain uh, what, what it is in a second. So just a good, good squirt over. Just loosen it up a bit. This has got to be, oh that's it, <laughs> I did find that right. Good squirt and a little bit down here as well because that's where your brake dust goes into the wheel, give it a good soaking. Now this stuff, this is, I don't know if you can see that, this is a uh, Wolf deionizer gel. And what this basically does, this breaks down the the metal and uh, the abrasives and the, that I've got on the wheel from general road use. And you'll, I don't, hopefully you can see, but it's starting to turn things purple. And that's where it's dissolving the iron, and that's the iron that's, that's embedded onto your wheel. You can use this stuff on on your paint as well, and I'll be using this on some of the panels on this car. Uh, we, I'll leave that for about 30, 40 seconds, just to let it do its work. I then have um, a bucket with some soap in, and I have various utensils. Um, I have a, a wash mitt. This is a microfiber sponge thing which I use for all the inner arches and then a selection of wheel brushes and they all go in my bucket of soapy water which you can see there ready for washing. All right, that's that stuff's done about as much as it's going to do at the moment so I'm just going to get in. Uh, find my one of my wheel brushes and I just spread that over the wheel just to make sure just to knock off any loose dirt that goes around no need to power wash these wheels aren't that, that dirty and you, you get right in there just spread that product around just be aware of this, of this stuff because it stinks no getting away from it it is rotten everything else I use in the in the garage it normally smells quite nice but this is quite revolting there are uh, other brands out there and i think one of them's called dragon's breath and i think that about sums it up all right so that's nicely worked in there all right so make sure i get in there and you can just hear there's a little bit of roughness on the, the, the inside of these wheels got all the spokes And there we go. I have to say, these are a lot easier wheel to clean than my focus wheels. Right, then back to a rinse. Try not to splash everything with water. And I'll just rinse that off. Now we come on to the actual washing. I've got various different brushes, a nice bucket of soap and water, and then starting from the top, 
right into the back, back of the wheel. There's nothing worse than a, a wheel that's clean on the front. And then you can still see all the dirt and everything at the back, so get right in there. I've got different sizes, brushes for different wheels, but this one fits in nicely, right to the back. And as I said, if you're washing your car, then you jump back onto your wheels. You've got all of this time while you're washing your wheels, while that water is drying. Well, that's the camera put back up. So just finish off, make sure go all the way around the, the back of the wheels. Use this brush, this is a nice brush to use. Just go around, pay particular attention to the back of the back of the wheels, especially with this brush. There's nothing worse than looking at clean wheels at the front and then just seeing all this horrible dirt at the back. I then go over to me wash me and I cover the same ground in the same area as I did, but I pay particular attention to, to the back of the spokes. If you imagine you've cleaned your wheels and even if you've cleaned the back of the wheels, it then rains, all that dirt that's on the back of those spokes will then bleed off onto your rim and spoil the finish of your rim. Get right in there, right behind that brake caliper. And the back of the spokes. And then rinse, rinse that off. And then just jump onto the face of the wheel. It's got a lovely chrome lip on these wheels. Jump back to me little wheel brush, just make sure I get into where the wheel nuts go. Give them a good clean. You can see the dirt coming out of these. That's them done. I'll just use this just to make sure I've got into all the little nooks and crannies. This part of the wheel regime. There's two critical things that a lot of people miss. One, it's the plastic wheel wells and the tyres. Always wash the tyres, always wash these. You go out, you spend a lot of money on your wheels and you want your wheels to be the, the centre point of this arch here. So if this is all nice and black and clean, you won't see it. Therefore, the wheel stands out more. Clean the back of the wheel, the wheel stands out more. And then obviously you need to clean the tyres. The tyres get as much dirt on as the rest of the car, so why not clean them? So just a brush on the wood tyres. And there we go. There might be a bit of edges in because as I said, as you've seen, the camera fell off a couple of times. And I'll just get this little sponge I use. It's a microfiber with a sponge inside and mesh in there. And I'll just get in all the way around the back of back of the wheel. Just make sure that the arches are nice and clean. And if I can't get in anywhere, use my brush again. Use a bigger brush for this. Just get that loose and any dirt. And there you have it. Inner arch is clean, tyres clean, wheels cleaned. I'll rinse these off. Like so. Different settings to get into there. I think worse than soap keeps creeping out of those bill nuts. And as you can see, wheels are nice and clean now. Once I've washed the car, this inside it's been dried. I would then treat the wheels with some sealant and then dress the tyres. I like to use the Meguiar's Endurance Tyre Gel. I quite like this. There's not, um, there are some products you put on and then you drive down the road and they call it sling. As the wheel rotates, it throws all your tyre product all up the side of the car. 
this doesn't sling a great deal and I use an applicator like that just pour the stuff on there and it just goes nice it goes nicely on all the way around I then use a, a rag to just wipe that over again around the tide just so you haven't got that super slick shine it just needs to be black it doesn't need to be super shiny and then that will be the wheel finished what I'll do um, at the end of the video I'll show you some pictures of the car done um, of the wheel sealed and the tyres dressed so thanks for watching and more importantly thanks for listening and uh, tune in next time for another video see ya